video, I'm going to explain how to build a custom AI chatbot for your business very easily. So let's get started over here. So here I'm in the analytics section. First of all, to build AI chatbots powered by ChatGPT or OpenAI, you need to grab the API keys. So you can simply grab your API keys from this particular website address over here and click create new secret key and simply go to the settings over here and integrations here we have the direct integrations with opening HRGPT. just simply connect that particular api key you have just uh, generated from this particular page over to our platform over here so once you are done you are actually good to go with creating AI chatbots for your business so but first of all to create an AI chatbot for your business you have to come up with your business information that particular business information can uh, contain a small introduction about your business what services do you provide you can include the pricing information the contact information also some sort of uh, frequently asked questions by your customers so this is just a simple introduction of what sort of uh, business information you can have so here I have actually generated uh, business information using ChatGPT. so this is actually related with a plumbing company so it says a majestic aqua flow plumbing solution so some sort of introduction is here the service and also how to contact them and also some frequently asked questions as well so what you can do here is that you can simply copy all this information over here all right so let me copy the last paragraph as well and simply go to integrations open HRGPT, click edit over here and you have to simply paste the information over here so we also also have some other information over here so let me delete this one and paste it over here so here i'm also going to cover how to qualify leads and also generate leads as well so once you have pasted this particular information this actually have the capability to answer any sort of questions about uh, this particular business so we can simply give uh, the assistant as some sort of directions so we can say you are a helpful assistant too. Majestic uh, Aqua Plumbing Solutions. So I have just added just sort of simple sort of a prompt over here. Respond to customer questions in just one to two sentences. So here I have added a simple prompt. You are a helpful assistant to this particular plumbing company and respond to customer question in just one to two sentences. That's it. And here we have all the information over here. So now you can actually ask any sort of questions about this particular business and the chatbot will actually respond to us. So here, uh, make sure this is switched on as well, automated responses so that whatever the business information we have provided will be used to respond to our chatbot so here as i mentioned this can actually works on multiple channels so in this uh, account we have only four channels connected but we actually support other channels as well see what happens and it says hello how can i ask you to so if i ask who are you it should say it's a helpful assistant for that particular plumbing company so we just actually and it says uh, for this particular plumbing solution so this can actually answer any sort of questions about uh, this particular specific business so if we go and click edit we can try asking some sort of questions so here what areas uh, do you serve let me ask or let me ask this sort of questions uh, do you serve uh, city town so let me ask this question so this is a city in texas so uh, they should actually serve and in frequently uh, they also mention frequently asked questions they also mention they actually serve as well uh, how to contact so here i'm just asking some sort of uh, frequently asked questions and it simply respond to us so let's see how this actually respond to us calling this particular number or contact form on the website so here uh, let me ask what is the website it should respond uh, with the website as well so here this is the website majestic aqua flowing plumping.com okay that is surprising so when i ask what is the website it simply says our website is chatting media but the response we actually expected was majestic aqua flowing plumping.com the reason is that before actually even contacting chat gpt our platform actually check if you have any sort of automated responses set up over here using the keywords so here if we go to the automated responses here we have this uh, when a particular customer says a website 
it should actually respond with the our website is statingmedia.com so that's why uh, when a particular customer says what is the website so this actually works for the key include so even if they say website or what is a website or if their message actually include the word website then this particular response will be triggered and this the priority is given for this automated responses based on the keyword and or if we don't have any sort of automated responses based on the keywords is set up over here then only it will go to the chat gpt and answer the customer's questions so here if i switch this on it simply won't work so if i ask the same question again so let me simply copy paste uh, this particular information and ask it should actually respond to us with the correct website of that particular plumping company so as you see here because at this moment this is automated this automated response is already switched off so that's the reason behind that particular response we received earlier now we can also see how to collect or generate leads as well so let's do that as well so here for that we need to create a chat gpt trigger so for that so let me open chat gpt triggers over here and let me add a chat gpt trigger so let's say request callback so we can allow um user to request callback for the callback we can simply collect the name and save it in the full name field over here and also the phone number and save in the phone number that's it and we can send a confirmation message for them saying thanks for the details one of our agent will contact you soon so that's it. thanks for the details one of our agent will contact you soon so we simply collect these details as well so we have already set up uh, this particular request callback over here so now we need to actually simply activate that particular chat gpt trigger we just created so for to activate any chat gpt trigger through this particular information you can actually go to chat gpt triggers over here and click a request callback click continue all right we have activated the chat gpt trigger which actually responsible for the lead generation over here the important thing is that we have to mention uh, if a customer is interested in requesting a callback make sure to collect their phone number and the name so we have to add it as an instruction here as well even though we actually activated this particular prompt we need to add as an instruction over here as well so let me add it customer wants to request a callback please collect their name and phone number. that's it so we have added uh, this particular prompt as well so so here let's test this from the scratch so when i say i want to request a callback it simply asks me for the name and phone number so we can arrange a callback for you so all the conversation happening over here will be tracked in this omnichannel inbox as well so here uh, here we have this person name as rookie which is collected from the instagram and uh, everything is empty the phone number email and the name is also from the instagram so let me actually provide the name over here so let me provide the name as jim and call me at let me provide the phone number as well two four three five six seven three so here i'm providing the name and also the phone number as well let's see what happens thank you jim one of our agents will contact you soon so here if we refresh this particular inbox over here we should see the updated details we have just provided jim and the phone number and as you see here the gym is here and the phone number is already here as well so that's how you can actually generate leads from the particular chatbot as well so now let's say if you want to qualify the leads so instead before even they request a callback we need to ask whether they actually from the texas so that we can actually qualify the leads because this particular company doesn't work in the other other states so we can do that as well so here we need to adjust the prompt over here that's it for the lead qualification i have actually adjusted the prompt like this if a customer wants to request a callback ask ask for their state if they are not from texas then politely respond as you don't you do not provide services or there if they are from texas then please collect their name and phone number so let's see how this actually works so here so for that uh, we have to actually clear the open a history as well so here let me show that as well so if you want to test uh, the particular chatbot multiple times and also you want to see how the prompt uh, works so here you have you, it's better to have a single flow over here created so named as uh, delete open a history some line with the single action which is delete the message history so which simply clears the message on the open a platform so let me send that flow 
uh, let me delete opening history over here all right so that particular history of their previous conversation will be cleared in the opening so we can actually start from scratch so let's see uh, let me send a message over here i want to request a callback and see what happens over here so here this time when i when i send this message i want to request a call back it simply asks me for the state before it simply asked me for the phone number and the name because we actually adjusted the prompt in such a way to handle the leak qualification it simply asked me for the state as well so let me provide a different state california and see what happens it simply reject say we do not provide services over there i'm sorry but currently we only provide services in texas thank you for considering majestical so that is how it works so if you have any questions let us know in the comments thank you